Hi, this is your host, Amlin Bharti, and welcome to another episode of TF for Let's Talk. And today we had with us Todd Don, Solutions Architect at Science Technology. Todd, it's great to have you on the show. Hi, thank you. Yeah, and uh, today we are going to talk about how to future proof your business with HA and DR and ensure business continuity. If I ask you, how would you define HA and DR for SAP HANA? Well, Swab, now for SAP HANA, um, HA and DR to me means five nines of availability. And no matter how you're going to get that, right? Um, so you have to easily be able to execute takeover with handshake, for example, for maintenance. Um, you need automated testing and failover. Um, SAP has the APIs, um, but you really don't want to be manually doing all of the HA tasks, right? Um, if your server goes down at one in the morning during a backup, um, you want that automated failover to provide the high availability. Um, so SAP again has the APIs and SIOS SAP Application Recovery Kit has the automation monitoring and orchestration that you need. I'm curious if HR and DA is simple or complex in SAP HANA environments. And if it is complex, why so? HA and DR and SAP HANA is extremely complex because the environment is extremely complex. Um, you've got three layers. You've got your presentation layer, your application layer, and your database layer. Um, the presentation layer is easy to protect. Um, it's you know simple uh, HTTPS, and but the application layer and database layer provide a number of challenges because you have so many different processes running. You've got data moving between the layers, between servers. Um, you've got replication going on. And you've got so many possible failure scenarios. Um, you can have physical, environmental, application, network, and human error. Um, so just the sheer number of things that you have to monitor um, to identify the quickest resolution, and then also follow the SAP best practices um, to ensure a recovery point objective or RPO of near zero data loss um, is just a, a really daunting task. I would talk about how SIOS is helping customers deal with some of this complexity, but I also want to uh, learn from you, what are customers doing, what kind of strategy they have deployed to simplify and future-proof their SAP HIDA environments to, uh, of course, ensure business continuity? So the, the key thing is you know, reducing the single points of failure. Um, multiple servers at every layer with replication to a passive and standby server and a DR server, um, and those need to be distributed through multiple data centers. Um, and again, the biggest uh, cause of failure is when you have a lot of uh, tasks and scripts that need to run, um, having a human do it, uh, you're gonna have introduced more human error. So automation is the absolute best strategy to being able to provide a, a good HR, DR environment. Um, the other thing is, you know, planning and frequent testing. You need to have, you need to test these systems and make sure that they are constantly, um, that that HA is, is working the way you expect, that your databases are getting re-registered, um, and that, you know, failover is truly seamless. Can you really do a failover with Handshake, for example? Um, and our product makes that super easy. Now let's talk about SIOS. What solutions do you folks have for high availability in SAP HANA environment? So once you have your SAP HANA environment set up, um, our installation and configuration is done through a GUI wizard. Um, it takes about an hour. Um, if you were to try to do this with Pacemaker or something, it's going to take you probably several days. Um, and then it doesn't cover all of the um, failure scenarios. Like if you do fail over um, having your DR site re-register with the new primary server, right? And SIOS Protection Suite covers everything. Um, we orchestrate and automate and make the failover extremely easy. Um, we support all the SAP best practices so things like if you get 
uh, ASCS and ERS, uh, you know, on, so say your primary fills, you're on your standby. Um, it now has ASCS and ERS both running on the same server, which doesn't follow SAP best practices. We're gonna go ahead and move the ERS to the third node or the DR server. We cover SIOs here on a regular basis, but can you talk about any new feature, any additions that you folks made to make things even better for users? So we've just recently added the HANA third node support, which, you know, when you had the HANA database before, we supported, uh, you know, two nodes, um, typically in the cloud in the same uh, AZ. But now we're, in a, we're able to support a third and even a fourth node in a DR. Um, so that's new for us. We've always been able to do that at the application layer, uh, but now we can support it at the database layer as well. Todd, thank you so much for sitting down with me and talk about HJNDR in SAP HANA environment. And I would love to talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you, Swapnil. It's been a pleasure. 